Hey, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm answering question number seven from the Pure Mathematics P3 exam practice at the back of the end of the P3 uh, textbook. And um, this question here is about integration. Now, I answered just recently a question number three, and um, I checked at the back of the book. The answer is not correct according to the back of the book, but the answer is actually correct if you go to the if you go to the um, what's it called the solution bank, you'll find that they have the corrected answer in the solution bank. Because I just I just made sure and check that the answer doesn't actually make sense in the back of the book, according to the question in terms of the range and even the uh, coordinates of the turning point. Um, but if you look in the solution bank, they have corrected a lot of the mistakes. There are quite a few mistakes actually in the textbook, but the solution bank, the official solution bank, does have the corrected. Um, most of the most of the exercises corrected, the ones that have got mistakes in them. So don't worry if you look at the back of the book and the answer is different from that. That's question number three, I think. Go to the solution bank and you'll find the correct answer. All right. So now it says, given that the integral between the limits of pi and th pi over three k and pi over four k of one minus pi sine k x with respect to x is given or equals pi seven minus six root two, find the exact value of k. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to integrate this between these limits and I'm going to find an expression and then equate the expression to this. So let me first integrate this with respect to x. This is ready to be integrated. One, if you integrate it with respect to x, gives you x. And the sine of something, when you integrate it, gives you the cosine, of, gives you the negative cosine of something. This will be minus. You're going to have um, pi times you're going to have minus sine, uh, minus cosine, sorry, cosine kx, and then you divide by the differential what's inside the function, so you divide by k. All right? Um, and that will be the, different, the, the integral of this. When you integrate this, you, you're going to have m the integral of sine is minus cosine, divided by the differential what's inside the function, so you divide by the k there. All right, so this is what we'll, we'll end up with. We can simplify this, of course, but your limits are pi over 3k and pi over 4k. So this will give us, if we simplify this, will be plus, and you're going to have pi over k times cosine of kx. And these are our limits, and we can put the limits in and see where that leads us. So I'm going to just continue here so I don't run out of space. So I'll put pi over 3k instead of x first. In fact, I'll put it in the next line better. Otherwise, I'll be short of space over there. So we're going to put pi over 3k first. You're going to have pi over 3k instead of the x plus this is pi over k times cosine of k times pi over 3k minus, and then you're going to have instead of x, pi over 4k plus pi over k times the cosine of, and you're going to have k times pi over 4k. Okay, so let's see how that simplifies. So you have pi over 3k plus, now the k cancels with the k here, all right? So you've got pi over k, and the cosine of pi over 3, that's a cosine of 60 degrees, which is a half. So it's pi over k times a half minus and you got here the minus and the minus and the minus and this gives you a, a minus so minus pi over 4k minus and the plus gives you another minus there and that will be pi over k now again this k will cancel with this k the cosine of pi over 4 is like the cosine of 45 degrees in exact form is root 2 over 2. okay so now we can simplify this a little bit so you've got pi over 3k plus pi over 2k minus pi over 4k minus pi times root 2 over 2k. All right, so let's simplify this, um, put them under one denominator. Um, all of them go into, tw into 12k. So I'm going to have all of them over 12k. Now to make this 12k, you have to multiply by 4, so that's going to be 4 pi. To make this 12k, you have to multiply by 6, so that's going to be plus 6pi. To make that 12k, 
multiplied by 3, that'd be minus 3 pi. And to make that 12k, multiply by 6. Um, yeah, by 6. So that's going to be um, 6 pi times, or you can say minus 6 minus 6 pi root 2. Okay, so that simplifies to 4 plus 6 minus 3, that's 7 pi minus 6 pi root 2 over 12k. And we have to show, we, we know that the, this in the end it equals pi times 7 minus 6 root 2. So we know that this 7 pi minus 6 pi root 2 over 12k is equal to pi times 7 minus 6 root 2, pi times 7 minus 6 root 2. So what can we can see here, this is actually the same. This is pi times 7 minus 6 root 2 over 12k equals pi times 7 minus 6 root 2. So we can see here that basically um, if these are the same, then 12k has to be equal to 1. Because if these are the same, then this must be equal to 1. This denominator must be 1, because then this has, will be the same as that. Therefore, k must be 1 over 12. So there's the answer for k in this question. Okay, it's just uh, integrating and just manipulating this algebraically. So that's the answer to question number 7 from this P3 exam practice paper, which one of the students on the YouTube channel has asked me to answer. Okay, so I hope that was clear. You just have to be very clear-headed what we are doing. And um, once you've got this expression equated to what we're told, it's equal to, and then find the value of k. All right, so other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist over here. Other questions from um, the uh, topic of, I guess, integration um, can be found in the playlist over here. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here that takes you to, uh, you know, a video tells you how to use my channel effectively. All right, so, um, and, and the other thing is, I would advise you check the answers with the solution bank rather than the answer in the back of the book. If the answer in the back of the book is not the same as what you found, always first check the solution bank answer before you assume that you got it wrong. Okay, because... Um, I'm not sure about this question, but definitely question number three. The book, book answer is definitely wrong. The solution bank has it corrected. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon.